Hello, this is the Tachibana Corporation, and today we're upgrading one of our servers from the integrated Perk 6i RAID controller to the H700 integrated controller. We did that because the Perk 6i has a limitation of only 2 terabytes, and we wanted to put some bigger drives in there. So let's go ahead and get started. Right now, I'm going to show you guys that the Perk 6i has a limitation of two terabytes. And also how long it takes for these things to boot up. All right, finally we get to the main screen. It's booting up the Ethernet agent, and here's the BIOS controller. Here in a second, it should tell you that it is a Perk 6i integrated, which you can see right on the screen. And right now it's complaining because I put some five terabyte hard drives in there. Let's go ahead and load up the configuration. Okay. So as you can see on this screen here, we have two hard drives for the OS, and then we have two, what it says is two terabyte hard drives. Now that's not correct, so we're gonna go ahead and upgrade our system now. So we're gonna turn it off. Alright, so before we get started, we're going to want to make sure that everything is unplugged. Alright, give it a couple seconds for all the power to run through the system. You should hear maybe clicking from the fan or something and when it dies down. Now, the first step we need to do is to remove the fans. So we got to lift this tab here and this tab here. And then make sure you remove all six of the fan's power cords from the motherboard. Then this should lift out relatively easily. Like that. Go ahead and set it off to the side on top of the hard drive cages. And then we're going to remove the SAS cables here. 
This is SAS A, SAS B. Okay. So you're just going to push these in here on the controller zero. That'll remove the first cord. And then here, same thing, push in the blue dots. And then here, we're going to remove the battery cable. That removes the second cable. And then here, we're going to push out the black pin that's holding it in. Push on it a little bit, push out the blue one, push on it some more. Then make sure that you have these pushed out and then this should just slide right up from the right side. And it's hard to see on this one, but there's a little tab on the inside that you need to push out to pull this out. Just like that. Now the interesting thing that I discovered is the battery is going to be the same on the Perk 6i and on the H700. All right. So this is the Perk 700 H700. Sorry. And as you can see here, it has completely different ports than the Perk 6i, which is why we would need new cables for this. So, same thing, just do it backwards. Slide this in on the left, pull the blue tab, and it should just fall right in on the right. And then we can just push this in. And it clicks in all nice and easy. And we should be able to just click in this. All right, that plugs in the battery. And next I'm getting the cables. As you can see, they're much smaller. So we're gonna go ahead and do SAS A. Make sure you slide it behind the black platform over here and this black platform. Otherwise the fans will have a hard time sliding in. You can do this here. For SAS A, it shows right here on the card, SAS A or SAS B. So for here, we're going to slide it in like this. Next, we're going to get the other cable here and slide this into SAS B. Slide this into the SAS B slot. It's according to the card. And then next we're gonna put the fans back in. Should just slide right into these clips on the side. Just like that. And then we'll go ahead and clip these in. Just so that it's locked in. Then make sure you reconnect all six fans to the motherboard. Okay, make sure all the fans are clicked in. We have successfully installed the Perk H700. So now I'm gonna reconnect the power. And 
And as you can tell, it's been powered by the loud singular fan here that's kicked on. I'm gonna give it a minute to cool down. It's really just complaining because the top cover has been removed. And there it is. It's past all the security checks. And now we're going to go ahead and turn it on. And wait for its very long boot up process. Looks like we're finally getting to the main screen where it boots the Ethernet agent. And now the RAID controller. And on this page, you can see that the PERC H700 integrated BIOS configuration utility means that the upgrade was successful. And going to the next page, you can see that the two hard drives that were on the last configuration for the 6i are still here. And then you can also see that the hard drives that it said last time were two terabytes large are now correctly stated as just about five terabytes which is proof enough to show that the integrated controller, the Perk 6i, that comes with the R610 naturally, has a limit of only two terabytes. This concludes our upgrade and our successful installation of the Perk H700. Thank you guys for watching.